So I'm barefaced right now and Tanya is putting on the Twin Medics Pro Refined Moisturizer as my primer. I love that she has this little palette that she works off of that um, her Makeup Academy has her use. It reminds me of like an artist mixing different colors. Also ignore Thunder in the background. She is always trying to get into my videos and get attention. Tanya is blending the foundation into my neck and that is something that I never ever do. I love that she always teaches me tricks when she does my makeup. Tanya used the Benny Color Corrector Wheel, the orange color, to help with my dark under eye circles. Next she's using the Full Cover Camouflage Concealer by Makeup Forever to conceal my under eye bags. Tanya used the purple color from the Visay Art Editorial Bright Palette to do my eyeshadow base and as you can see it was a very vibrant purple. I thought that this powder was really cool because it was super dense and thick, kind of like baking soda powder. continues to pack on the color so that the purple builds up to become this like beautiful dark purple that's perfect for Halloween. Once the color is as packed as she wants it to be, she starts to blend the edges so that it is rounder and so that it's more dimensional than just like a flat color. For some reason, as she's working on my right eye, it's harder to blend and pack on the eyeshadow, so she's working a little bit slower, but as you can see, she's very precise with her movements, and she's really patient working on my eyes, which I think is so important because doing eyeshadow looks on Asian eyes is definitely a skill, one that I don't have, but I'm definitely learning as Tanya does my makeup and teaches me what works best for my eyes. Now she's using the blue color from that same palette to line my under eyes and so that definitely opens up my eyes which I love. She then uses the ColourPop So Jaded palette which is a collaboration with Kathleen Lights to add the shimmer and the sparkle onto my eyelids. Speaking of the palette, I love it so much. There's so many colors that I love to use and experiment with and Tanya definitely put me on it by recommending that it would probably be a great fit for my skin color, the shades that are available in the palette. So here's a close up of my eyes as you can see the work that she's done with the sparkles and the base and now she's adding some Ardell lashes to make the look pop. Tanya used the Sean Brow Book in Burnett and Topaz to fill in my eyebrows for a very natural looking brow. Tanya taught me to put my fingers on my temples to feel for where that indent is, like right near my ear, so that's where I can line up my contour so that my face doesn't drop because if I do the fish face, which I've been doing for years, it drops my face and makes me look older, but if I make sure to feel for my temple, like where that indent is in my head, I can make sure that I lift my face. For my blush and bronzer, Tanya is using the Inklot palette on me. I never usually wear blush, but I love the color and the technique that she used because I think that it really helped to make my face more dimensional. She had to clean up the fallout from underneath my eyes since she did my foundation before she did my eye makeup and so now she's cleaning up the concealer. She used a mixture of the RCMA Original No Color Powder and the Benny Bananas Luxury Powder for my under eyes. 
Tanya also accompanied me to the photo shoot and she captured some behind the scenes that I thought I would include in this video. She was great at doing touch-ups during the shoot and I would highly recommend booking her if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. As for the photographer, his name is Jerry Williams and I photographed at his home studio. I'll include his information, including his Facebook page, in the description. This is the finished makeup look that Tanya did on me and I think it's beautiful. She started with the purple and then during the photo shoot she added different colors like pinks and blues. I did a white one as well. A white as well. So this is kind of like the final blend of all of them since we did three looks um, that started with that purple eyeshadow but then just we built other looks from it. To make like a halo. Yeah, to make like a halo makeup, like eye makeup. So thank you so much for watching and we're going to be collaborating again. So if you're interested, stay tuned for that video. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you're new and thank you so much for watching.